Hello guys, this is your guy from Granville Tech Junior. This is part 2 of my video on the MacBook 2012 in 2021. Enjoy! One of the things that I love about this device is its hardware upgradability. Before I tell you about this, I would like to discuss with you a little about the restrictions that you will face when you purchase Apple hardware. Upgrading the internals of these laptops in 2021 are expensive and they must be done during ordering as this can only be done by Apple. The reason Apple does this is that everything is soldered to the motherboard which allows Apple to make thin devices while at the same time traps you into their system which is super expensive. I like to describe it this way. It's like the difference between a credit card and a debit card, whereby with the debit card, you must have the money you need on hand and you have to pay complete at the time of purchase. While with the credit card, you can pay later. Well, in this case, the newer MacBook computers are like the debit card, whereas the older MacBook computers, such as this 2012 model, is like a credit card. Only in the case of this credit card, it is cheaper in almost every sense and it allows you to purchase what you can afford first. Later on, you now have the option to upgrade the internals using third-party products for literally a fraction of the price. So let's look at what you can upgrade in these types of computers. In my old MacBook Pro 2012, you can upgrade the memory. It comes standard with 4 gigs of memory, but in my case, I have upgraded it to 16 gigabytes using two third-party 8 gig memory modules. I believe these can go all the way up to 32 gigabytes. This allows the computer to work directly from memory at highest efficiency rather than swapping with the hard drive which slows the unit down. The second thing that you can upgrade is the hard drive. I would recommend for everyone using a computer today that has a spinning hard drive to upgrade it to a SSD drive. This has no moving parts, so it's less prone to failure from dropping which causes the read-write heads to hit the spinning disk, scratching them and rendering them useless. Adding an SSD card to your system gives it new life. It is quite faster than a conventional drive making your computer feel like new. In this case, you can add as much storage as you need. Another advantage of the 2012 MacBook Pro when it comes to storage is the fact that it comes with a DVD drive. Now today there is no longer any use for such a slot, but by purchasing a drive bay, you can now convert the slot from a DVD drive to a SSD drive. This allows you to now install a second hard drive in your computer. You can imagine the possibilities this offers. The final two things that I enjoy about my MacBook Pro 2012 is in the software division. Firstly, this MacBook Pro is capable of running the Big Sur operating system and it runs it comfortably. Now, although it is not officially supported by Apple, you can, with a little bit of work, get it running with virtually no problem. I have been doing so for a couple of weeks now. So, as I said before, it does require you getting your hands a little dirty. You have to run a patch to get it going. Without this patch, the software will reject the installation of Big Sur. But the second thing that I really love in the area of software is that you can install Windows on these devices. You can install Windows natively. This is possible due to the fact that up to 2020, Mac laptops came with an Intel processor. These processors are compatible with the Windows operating system. Apple supplies a software for free that is called Bootcamp. This gets you set up with all the necessary drivers for your particular system and for your supported version of Windows. In my case, I have vehicle repair programs that are Windows OS only, and this is critical for me. You may wonder how a Mac performs while running Windows. Is it laggy? Does it crash a lot? Well, be at peace. Because Windows works natively when used in this manner, the unit performs at full power with no loss. 
In fact, some people have only Windows installed on their Mac computers. This feature gives you the ability to have the best of both worlds in one unit. This concludes what I would like to share with you when it comes to using a MacBook Pro from the year 2012 in the year 2021. See you next time. Do subscribe and have a great day.